the Cat Kingdom, a peaceful land where catisons spend their days working hard and e eating cabbages. Can someone please check the script? It's right? Oh, oh, okay then. It's also a land threatened by a horrific volcano, the likes of which the Earth has never seen. Once it erupts, the lava will burn the entire land. Oh dear. And there are also beasts and dark forces. I'm sorry, but is this really a family-friendly game? I'm quite worried about all of the cats. Let's just skip a few pages of the script. Queen Rhea is sending a small band of adventurers on a mission to stop the volcano from destroying the Cat Kingdom. They're going to set out on an epic quest, traverse unknown lands, and maybe take part in a hero's journey. Save the Cat Kingdom at all costs or die trying. Oh, and we would prefer you not let any of them die as it would be a terrible inconvenience. Good luck. Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, today I'm going to check out uh, Catizens. I'm going to do my first impressions, let's play a review of the game. So I'm going to play the game for an hour or two. I'm going to give you my running commentary throughout and I'm going to tell you what I think is good and bad about the game throughout. If you are in a hurry, you can simply skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video. And there I will give you my quick, concise, final opinions on whether or not the game is worth uh, $18. Now, one interesting thing is that uh, the developers, at least one of the developers, I'm not sure if it's more than one developer, but at least one of the uh, developers of this game uh, was on the team of the uh, sims 4 and the previous sims obviously as well which is maxis maxis uh, is the developers of sims uh, 3 and 4 and obviously electronic arts are the publishers of sims but the developers of sims is maxis and uh, at least one of the developers uh, of this game, Cathizens, is originally from Maxis. So it's really quite interesting that um, the, you might expect to find a little bit of the Sims 3 and Sims 4 flavor in this game um, due to the fact that the developers worked on those games. And um, I would really look uh um through the um uh, mechanics in this game to spot those little hints that um potentially the game i wouldn't say is a clone of sims but you will definitely see a little bit of the uh, sims flavor sprinkled throughout the game i think uh, the screenshots on Steam certainly suggest that uh, the game is modeled at least in a small way um, after Sims. So um, let's jump into the game. Like I said, the game costs $18 on Steam. It's currently in early access as well. So you get a couple different difficulties. You get casual, average and calamity. And uh, unfortunately, it does not say what the differences are. So normally, I would like to see uh, casual be the normal level. You know, casual is whatever. 100% damage, 100% resources, 100% uh, whatever. Happiness, whatever. And then on average... It will be 70% resources, 70% damage, 70% happiness. And then on Calamity, it will be 50% damage, 50% resources, you know. As you go down, the game will get more difficult. But it's very, very important for the developer to tell you what is being changed, you know, to tell the player what the differences are between easy normal and hard or normal 
more than calamity or whatever you know um, and unfortunately they do not do that so that's the first issue that i have with the game oh another issue that i have with the game is the fact that you cannot set your frame rate or your frame rate cap at all that's a really big issue actually you never want to see this where the uh, resolution is bound to the frame rate because then this happens where i cannot even select 60 fps on this uh, resolution setting it's simply not there there's no uh, 60 fps setting at all whereas my screen can run at 60 fps you can see it right here 60 fps 75 fps all of that and yet for some reason you cannot select the 2k option at 60 fps so that is why you never want to see uh, this the resolution being bound together with the frame rate that's not good at all they need to give you resolution options then frame rate options and also vsync because there's a difference between resolution fps and vsync there are differences between those uh, because you if you select vsync then the game will simply run at the same uh, fps as what your desktop fps is but if you don't want that and you want to run at a different fps then you need a separate fps toggle here so that you can select 25 fps 30 fps 60 fps 144 fps if you have a g-sync monitor and yet you cannot do any of that with these options so the resolution options and fps options are also really lacking as well so those are the first two uh, issues that i see with the game before even getting into the game okay customize your cats so you start with two cats apparently you can rotate them like this you can't rotate them with a with a mouse unfortunately i'm trying to rotate them but they don't want to rotate at all so you have to click here that's another issue i don't like that i would prefer to be able to rotate them with the uh, mouse so uh you let's first remove the hat can you remove the hat nope i don't see anywhere where you can remove the hat yeah no so the hat stays the same on this one and i assume the hat will also stay the same on that one as well so um not a fan of that i would like to change the hat definitely but it's cool that you can get really a lot of different types of cats or looks for your uh, cats as well that's really quite important when it comes to character creation you must have so many options you almost shouldn't even be um, able to create the same uh, um, character between different playthroughs you know like if you think about sims 3 or sims 4 and you can believe me i've played a lot of sims 4 i probably have in the region of 400 hours in sims 4 um you can almost never create the same character in sims 4 like they will always have different mouth different eyebrows different eyes different nose you can change everything in um the sims games and it seems that at least in this game it is also more or less the same there's a large variance of um the different character options so that's very good let's see if i can get a random one which i will really like otherwise we will just create our own one this one isn't too bad then we can just change the eyes
How is this black? The base color currently says black. Or do I need to change that? Yeah, you see the the base color says black, but this isn't black. There's no way how that is black. Like, look at that. There's not black anywhere. How is this black? You must be able to change it to black. That's black. But why can't the body be black? There was a black cat earlier, so how on earth? Can't you make it black? Yeah, that's really bad. You should have the color. I mean, this is not black. No matter what you tell me, that color is not black. It's bloody gray. So there's issues with the colors as well, obviously. You shouldn't call a color black if it's not black. But anyway, um, I'm happy with that one. I'm not going to spend an age on the character creation. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that one. Then uh, you should start all of these with zero. So I don't like the fact that they don't put it at zero. Now I have to take the time to make all of them zero. I'm not a fan of that. Okay, so stamina uh, adds 10 health, strength. Uh, blah, blah, blah. damage dealt by physical attacks by one each point increases number of items character can carry before being overburdened increases experience gain by 10% each point of luck increases chance to dodge melee attacks and chance to critical hit attacks with by 2% okay so uh, it would be fantastic if they actually showed you the amount of health that you have. Like, they should show you how much health you have. Because now, by adding 10, um, 10 health a year, you don't know if 10 health is actually a lot. You know? What if the character has 300 health at the start? Then extra stamina really won't help a lot. You know, 10 extra health won't help. But if the character only has 50 health, or 100 health even, then 10 health is going to make a very large difference. So that's another issue. They should be showing you the health of the character. So um, I honestly don't know if health will be a good thing. Obviously, intellect, being if you add 10 points to intellect, your character will gain uh, experience at a 100% increased rate compared to one that does not have uh, 10 intellect, you know. So that's obviously a massive increase. So let's make it um, like that. That should be fine. 2661 on both of them. This one doesn't have a shield or a sword, so I wonder if they are different classes. Both of them start out as loyal. E even if the going gets rough, this catizen will stick it out with the town. Will not consider deserting town even when the mood is low. So I'm not a fan that you can't change these. You know, you should be able to change these. Once again, if you think about sims, in sims you can change your, your traits of your sim any way you want. But okay, we will just accept that. And then you get a bunch of different um, uh, traits as well. Wow, there's quite a lot of different traits. Okay, so let's go through them quickly. Loved by all animals and enjoys their company will not be attacked by wild animals. But will be unhappy if they are forced to hurt any animal. Will never run away from combat even if their health is low. Will automatically try to revive foreign comrades. 
It is more physically fit than normal, gaining extra health and strength, but not the most careful around. Takes extra damage in combat. How much extra damage does it take and how much extra health and strength do they gain? You see, it's very, very important for the developers to provide this information to um, the player because otherwise in an RPG you're going to be making a lot of mistakes and a lot of um, uh, non-optimizations when you choose certain stuff so you need to be provided that information uh, Bushcat likes to sleep in beds on lower floors gets a mood bonus from being the right height of bed but gets a mood hit if they sleep in places too high up once again how much of a mood bonus do they get and how much of a mood hit do they take all of that is very important can continuously enjoy the mood bonus of eating catnip without consequence. Socials always succeed with others regardless of relationship level. I also gain a bonus to luck. Can convince even the gr grumpiest sourpuss to play. Clumsy. Why would you um, even use this? What's the benefit of being clumsy? Like why would you choose that? Uh, likes to scratch things, has the tendency to ruin objects, enjoys the domesticated life, must have cooked food and a nice bed to sleep in, gets mood hit if forced to sleep outside or eat raw food, prefers eating raw food and sleeping outside, has more fur than normal, will be comfortable sitting and sleeping on any service, Gets soaked from water easily and always gets furballs while when grooming. Is a good listener and will always have nice chats with others. Will never start fights with other cats regardless of mood. Makes friends more easily. That's a pretty good one. Has more intellect than average but will be unhappy if left to work as a villager or if surrounded by other catizens of lower average intellect. How much more intellect do they gain? That's again another part where the developers need to be more transparent. Eats more food than average and will get bored of any food. How much more food do they eat? As a way with plants, tends to farm fields faster. Loves the thrill of the hunt, can stalk enemies to get a pounce on them, gets a mood boost from defeating enemies in combat. Won't want to work if mood lower than neutral. Doesn't like to anonymously socialize with other cats. Get a mood hit in crowded areas. But a mood bonus if they are all by themselves. Likes to insult others when socializing. Can fight all the time and has difficult time making friends. Gets a mood hit in town. If the town doesn't have as much gold as its catizens, will randomly find pieces of gold while working. Cooks food faster, sleeps less, but freaks out occasionally. Awake at night, prefers to sleep during the day, will touch it out and finish a job even when in an awful mood. Always looks on the bright side and is in better mood than others. Hates engaging in violence, whether it, it's combating enemies or getting into fights with catizens. Sees the glass as half empty, will slowly become even more unhappy if their mood goes below content. Will run away from combat if they get hit. Gets frightened easily, getting a mood hit if they are near enemies. Only wants to live in popular towns. Mood hit if town isn't above level 3 popularity. It's always ready for the next tap. We'll get a mood hit if they don't get their beauty sleep. Is the happiest after getting fully rested. Loves to talk to other cats. Gets lonely if they don't interact with others. Has a thick head, increasing armor but decreasing intellect. Once again, how much armor increase and how much intellect decrease do they get? It's very important. Actually loves water, does not take a mood hit when wet. Likes to sleep on beds on upper floors. Gets a mood bonus from the right height. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so to be completely honest with you, most of these are 
very stupid. There's only probably five or so um, out of all of these that I would at all consider um, on my cats. Charming is one of them. And then... Optimistic will be good. And what else is there? Optimistic is good. Miserly might be good. Maybe. Friendly will also be good. Um, I think friendly will be pretty good. So charming gives uh, socials was all, will always succeed regardless of relationship level can convince even the grumpiest Sarpus to play and gains a bonus to luck. So, yeah, I think Charming and Friendly are the two best options out of these. They have no drawbacks and only have positives. Oh, so there you can see plus two to luck. Um, it's not a massive increase, but oh, uh, let's see... Um, let me just see. Uh, if we change Charming to this. Plus two. Okay, so that's how much you get on Genius. It's plus two. But then they will be unhappy if left to work as a villager. Or surrounded by other citizens of lower than average intellect. So that's not um, super good, obviously. And then this one gives plus two strength and plus one stamina, but takes extra damage when in combat. Now, it doesn't say how much extra damage, you know, so that's obviously an issue. Not knowing how much extra damage uh, they take can really be detrimental. It could be as much as 50%, uh, depending how insane the devs are, you know. So um, it's probably best to um, not take that one. Optimistic might also be good. I think optimistic might be better than friendly. Where is friendly? Where on earth? Oh, I already have friendly selected. Okay. So charming. Okay, well we need we want charming. Always succeeds regardless of blah blah blah. Convince even the Grampia Sarpus. Well charming, I don't think charming is as good as friendly. I think friendly is better than charming actually. So, is there anything that we would want instead of Charming? Optimistic, I think, will be better than Charming. So, we can choose Friendly and Optimistic. I think that'll be better. Uh, and then we can just, well, we can leave the names like that, I mean, it's fine. And really care too much about the um, the names, to be honest. Okay, so that's fine. We can just go like that. Okay, you can rotate with Q and E. You can also right click to um, uh, go up and down, left and right, all of that kind of stuff. Then you can zoom in and out. 
You can also pan with the middle mouse button. Left click to select, right click to move. That's all very self-explanatory. Okay, here comes an enemy. Uh, select the knight, then right click the enemy while boar. Okay, why can't you attack? This one can't attack at all. The enemy drops some meat, right click and select gather. Well, there's no gathering. Bring items to a storage location to put them in the town's inventory. Hey, we get a new cat. Villagers harvest basic resources. Left click the villager, right click on the tree, obviously. Keep chop chopping down to gather wood. Then wood villagers can also harvest catnip for food or mine rocks for stone and gold. Okay, so this one is a knight and that one is a villager, I'm assuming. Hey, level up. Increases strength. Increases intellect, increases stamina. Learns to use shields more effectively, increasing your armor by one. What does one armor actually do? We like they need to tell you it reduces the damage by this much or this much. Allows you more fancy swords and increases physical damage by two. That's actually pretty good. Uh, but the intellect will also be good. Uh, your apprentices gain experience twice as fast. That's very good. I think I'm going to go for that one. And you also level up. Okay, and this one has a different skill tree. Obviously, strength, stamina, intellect. And then the, these ones are different. So... Increases amount of wood harvested from trees by 10% per rank. This effect is town-wide. Wow. Increases the amount of stone harvested from rocks. Increases building speed and construction. Specialized in con constructing things out of wood. Then to create some neat decorations made out of wood. Specialized in constructions made of stone. Learn the ability to create, to completely move a building to a new location without having to rebuild. How? A little bit of construction, know-how and magic. A lot of magic. Okay. Um, so do we want to go for creating stuff out of stone or creating stuff out of wood? Uh, if we go for creating stuff out of wood, then we get the intellect. So I think let's go for intellect. Intellect will be better overall because it gives you faster um, um, experience gain. Okay, so the knight cannot harvest stuff, but he can carry stuff. I'm not sure if I like the whole class system. Because if you think about sims, then um, any sim can do any job. Whereas here, it seems the cats are limited on a uh, arbitrary um, uh, class system. Architects will automatically try to construct placed buildings, all different structures to increase the population cap and popularity of your town. 
Okay, so what can you do? Is there anything you can do? No. If he could have done anything, then he would have... Uh, um, it would have shown. Down applicants. Okay, so this one has 12 stats. This one has 12 stats. Uh, that's not exactly good. That's okay. And that's not exactly good. That's good. Uh, that's not exactly good. And that's not good. So, uh, no thank you. I don't want to take any of you. Okay, so what do we want to do next? What's this? Tear down. Change roof color. Toggle walls. Upgrade comfort. Requires architect, architect level 2. Okay, so this one is the knight. I'm assuming he can't build. Choose apprentice. Professionals can choose to take on a villager as their apprentice. The apprentice can eventually become a full fledged professional. So you are a knight. And this one is an architect. And Jasper is nothing. Energetic. Glutton, which is bad. Genius, which is bad. So, well, geez, genius isn't exactly bad, but it's not super, um, super good either. Okay, so let's take Apprentice and choose Jasper. So Jasper will now be this one's Apprentice. Okay, uh, the game unpaused itself, which I'm not a fan of. What else can we build? Nothing. Literally nothing. The game unpaused itself again. I'm not a fan of that. Okay, can you collect anything? Trees? Yes, let's go harvest some trees. Unfortunately, this guy can literally just stand around and watch. Can't do anything. I guess you can explore with him. This music it really reminds me of Final Fantasy. It massively sounds like Final Fantasy music. Which is obviously not a bad thing. Final Fantasy has fantastic music. It's simply an observation. It, it massively sounds like Final Fantasy. Like seriously, if I were to close my eyes, I would be... 1000% certain that I'm playing Final Fantasy X right now. Pick that up as well. There we go. It's stupid that you have to tell him to pick those up as well, but okay. So when will new applications come? Okay, one hour. Um, why do I need to go tell you to uh, pick up more stuff? You should be picking up stuff on your own. It should not be necessary for you to tell your people to pick them up themselves. Take a bath at the bathhouse. Well, um, I, I don't have a bathhouse, so I can't do that. You can just go mine. Uh, do I have new applicants? Nope, not yet. It's really stupid that they don't um, continue to do the job that I assigned to them. I told this guy to pick up wood and he simply stops picking up wood randomly. The same with the mine, the uh, wood, wood guys. This guy has finished chopping down this, this tree, so he should move on to another, another tree automatically. Um, it's bad that they don't do it automatically. That goes to show you that either the devs don't care about automation, or uh, the game simply um, 
doesn't have automation for a reason you know like to just give you extra busy work and either of those will be an issue okay do we have new ones uh, yes we no we don't it says it said expires in one hour but now we we got exactly the same one again so that's bad that's that shouldn't happen if it says expired it should bloody well expire you know and it didn't so that's an issue i don't like that okay what do i need to do next enter the forest the girl panel shows a list blah 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 you can mouse over the girl for more information well i've already entered the forest quite a bit level complete return to level select okay will i be able to continue on that map or not Okay, um, don't like either of these, to be honest. This one is pessimistic, which is bad, and brutish, which is actually also bad. I don't really want to take either of these, but I mean, what can you do? Okay, I can already tell you if you are gonna restart on each and every different map, then that's an issue. I don't like games that do that. I prefer the way how it is in Sims, where you have one map and you do all of the stuff. You can spend 200 hours on that one single map um, and you just make progress, progress, progress the whole time. Uh, with this game... Uh, if you jump from map to map to map, your progress is constantly reset, and I'm not a fan of that. Okay, so you can go chop a tree, you can go chop a tree, you, because you have brutish, shouldn't actually be a combat person. But unfortunately, I can't make you an apprentice as well. Well, I can make you a Knight's Apprentice, but I don't really want to make you a Knight's Apprentice. So I'll rather just wait until um, the other guy is done with um, whatever. A two-story house. So it just takes a little bit more resources and then it provides two beds. Well, two stars... Popularity, clear all enemies, build a market. Market requires level 2 architect. Where's my fighter? Vesperus entered combat. Where? Over there. They will run away. Leveling up. When a cat has the green arrow next to blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Each profession's tree is unique, and no single cat can fill out an entire tree. So plan carefully. Okay. I'm pretty much already aware of that. Okay. Loot, please. Do what I told you. Okay. We can increase the speed. How do you increase the speed? The keys aren't working. One, two, three, four, five, which you would normally expect it to be. Is not working. But he is a architect level two now, so we should be able to build a market now. 
Okay, we can't pre-place buildings. That's not good. You should be able to pre-place buildings. Because I don't have enough wood, the game isn't allowing me to place the building yet. So you have to wait until you have enough resources before you can place the building. I'm not a fan of that. I prefer the system where you can pre-place buildings. That's a much better system, in my opinion. But anyway, uh, what's the controls? Let me just quickly have a look here. E bindings. Game speed. Nope. We want it. One, two, three, four. Select the group. I don't care about that. Fly. And okay, now we can control the speed of the game much better. You go kill that guy over there. Moods and debuffs, blah blah blah. Catherson's mood is the sum of the mood effects on their buffs, blah blah blah. Just like um, in Sims, debuffs that have a click to solve in this description can be clicked on to have the cat attempt to resolve the debuff on its own. Some debuffs cannot be simply solved with a click of a button. For instance, if your cat has fleas but the town does not have a bathhouse, blah 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 blah. Why are you running away? If you die, I'm gonna shit myself. He's a warrior and then he bloody runs away. Go sleep or something. Regain health. Loot that. Okay, well, yeah, you can go sleep to get your health back. That's fine. Okay, let's build. What can we build? Okay, we can finally build the market. Infrastructure. What infrastructure? I don't want... Oh. You can't... Uh, can't build a wood road. You can only build a stone road. So I need to get a lot more... Um, stone first. Jasper can now become a professional. Okay. How do you do that? Certify as a professional. This guy leveled up. Increases wood harvest. How do you certify this guy? Certify as professional. I guess so, it's bloody expensive, but okay. It took literally all of my gold. Jasper can now... Well, oh, are now friends. Okay, so they are now friends. Uh, you, I want to go out and uh, search for enemies. Oh, there's two over there. He's probably not going to be able to fight that on his own. Come on, come on. There we go, I managed to coax him out and 1v1 them. Okay, we have an upgrade for this guy finally. Um, okay, so on this one it says the effect is town-wide and does not stack with other architects. But on this one it does not say that. On this one it simply says the effect is town-wide. So, is it also does this one stack but this one does not stack you know doesn't really make sense that almost makes me think that 
the devs simply forgot to say it over here that this one does not stack but okay we will assume that it does stack oh i can get new cats okay that's okay that's bad that's okay um that's okay that's bad and that's okay um i guess we can invite all of them oh no i don't don't want a destructive cat that won't be good so what else can we build I can't build another house right now. I need more stone. So how do we get stone? Um, how do we get stone? Oh, you can actually mine. Okay, go mine that. Okay, so you have to press shift and click on the stuff. In order to mine different stuff. The... Um, game hasn't told me that yet so that's not good you know the game should tell you all of this stuff um i just happen to have played a lot of these games so i know that but additionally if you press shift then the, you will be able to queue up different actions but the average player will definitely not know that so um it's bad that the game doesn't actually tell you that This guy is starting to do a lot of bloody damage. You see, now they're doing the automation good. You know, now I didn't even tell them to go mine these, but they did it in any way. So that is the kind of animation uh, uh, automation that I want to see. You know, not the crappy uh, automation that we saw previously where they harvest one tree and then they stop. You know, that's bad automation. I guess I need to make another um, apprentice. So let's choose buttons to be the apprentice. So that I can have two knights. Because I already have basically four builders. So another knight will be good. We also need another two-story cottage. And then we can build stone paths. Where does it show how much stone it will use? Okay, so it automatically de uh, um, deducts the stone that you're using. You can see there at the top, my stone is automatically going down. So that's fine.
it's just weird if you like there i built from there to there and it took one stone and then if you build from here to there okay well let's not build from here to there let's make it like this if you build from here to there like firstly it doesn't show you how much stone is going to be used that's an issue but secondly let's say we build from there to there it also took one stone so it takes one stone from here to there and then also one stone from there to there that's ridiculous it should firstly show you how much stone it's going to take and secondly it should not take one stone for this amount of building as it takes one stone for this amount of building that's simply ridiculous so um, the building system in the game definitely needs uh, a change and once again that also comes down to transparency the devs need to be way more transparent with regards to the um, amount you know it should show you the amount of resources that you're spending if you only draw a small amount it should show you okay it's gonna take two stone or three stone or four stone or whatever and yet it doesn't show you any of that at all we can also build a storage location here we can build one there okay and the other one costs money so i'm not going to do that right now where's the bathhouse i want to see i don't oh there okay so we can build a bathhouse i just need more stone um let's see we are probably gonna need to harvest the trees as well where are my little harvesters what are you doing where are you okay you're building or something you're building as well what are you doing you're not doing anything so go harvest what are you doing you're not doing anything oh you're you're the fighter right yes you're the fighter so you can't harvest trees so you're gonna harvest trees you can also go go harvest trees go harvest And then you can go pick up over there. And you can go pick up over there. Just because you're a knight doesn't mean you can stand around doing nothing. Okay, we have enough um, stuff for a bathhouse now. I don't like the fact that the the uh, um, flowers get in the way. The flowers shouldn't get in the way like that. That's a little bit ridiculous. Okay, go build that, please. Food is running low. Okay, so I need to uh, go kill some stuff then. Okay, so where are my fighters? So you can probably go over there. And then you can also go over there. And then I'm going to take you to groups, blah, blah, blah. Yes, that's fine. I understand. Okay, so let's have a look. Where's... Okay, let's level you up. That's fine. Let's level you up. That's fine. I don't like the fact that each time you go into that menu your um i'm clicking you bastard your um um game is unpaused i don't like that at all okay so you're done and then also go kill these guys there's more over there you because you're weaker need to stay back a little bit Run away. Run away, run away, I said. Okay, one of them is unconscious. That's obviously not good. Go heal. Go heal. Go heal. Why doesn't he want to heal? Why 
like I'm right clicking on the go heal and he simply does not want to go heal. I don't know how long they stay um, unconscious for. Doesn't show me. Oh wait. Lives. Okay, so that's not good. We need to immediately go resurrect. Can you also go? Yes, you can. Go resurrect. Where's buttons? What the hell? Go resurrect. Like, how difficult is it? And he's dead. That's fantastic. A very, very important kitty has died. Blah, 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 blah. Now, I don't want to restart the level. I will just go back to the load. Um, blah, blah, blah. Hours played 68. What the hell are you talking about? Hours played 68. That must be um, in-game hours or something like that. You know, like the, the time in-game. Obviously, I haven't played dead hours. This is like, I've literally played the game now for 56 minutes. So, um, yeah. So we will just um, load the autosave. And then uh, just redo that battle. Because, like, it's really ridiculous. I clicked with two of my cats on the revive you know i told two of my cats to go revive the body and neither of them did you know so that's really ridiculous they should really work on the um i guess you can say queue system you know if your cat has an action queued currently to pick up some wood but then you tell them to go revive a fallen ally, they should obviously go revive the bloody fallen ally, you know? Um, so that's really um, stupid. In Sims, if you give a Sim a bunch of stupid tasks, and then an important task, like go put out an f a fire or something like that, the sim will automatically cancel all of the stupid tasks and go do the fire task immediately. That is the kind of queue system that I want to see in this game. The game is loading like a mother right now. This sh should not be taking this long. Um, like really. No game should have a loading screen of more than a minute. Yeah, this is uh, this is not looking good for the game. Okay, let me uh, just close the game, go back in, and load my autosave. Um, so I will just be back in one second. Okay, here we go. We are in the game again. Um, the time is exactly the same, twenty one oh four. So it doesn't matter which one I take. Let's take that one. This is the only save that I have, so obviously it's the uh, correct auto save. And then once again, I will tell you to go revive. Okay, go revive. I'm I'm clicking on him. I'm clicking on him, and then I'm right clicking, right click for available actions. Okay, right click revive. That should not be like that because I will tell you why. Um, if you take him and you tell him to go pick up something, all you do is, boom, you right click on it and the action is queued. He will go pick up the wood. So it does not make sense to then have to right click on it and then select something else. That does not make sense. The same as with the harvesters. If I take a harvester, and I tell him to go harvest some wood. You don't need to right click on the tree and then select something else. You simply, boom, like that. Right click on the tree and they will go do that action. So it really doesn't make sense that you have to right click on it and then select a secondary action. 
that should not be like that at all. Okay, so go over there. Pronto. And go revive your friend. There we go. Now you can go back. Go heal or whatever you want to do. One thing that I've also noticed is that several times I right click and I tell the uh, cat to go do something and they just outright ignore. Why are you sleeping? Oh no, I almost thought that one was sleeping on the ground. They just outright ignore you. So uh, that's obviously also an issue. The, the cats should never ignore your uh, commands. Where are you going? Like what? Are you going to pick that stuff up? Okay, I guess that's fine. We do need food. Why the hell would you just pick it up and eat it? Pick it up. You simple bastard. Leave that. Gather. You see, once again, the game has some serious queuing issues. Why are you sleeping on the ground? Please tell me. I know it's probably nice sleeping next to the campfire, but go sleep in a house. Like there's two, two, two spaces. So that's six spaces. So why are you sleeping on the ground? Go sleep in one of the bloody houses. Go sleep in the houses. I'm right clicking. Go sleep in the houses. Really? Why would you sleep on the ground when there are empty houses? That also doesn't make sense. The, the game AI really needs a, a rework because there's many problems. I know it's still early access, but damn, you have to at least make a, a functioning early access build. I have no more stone left. Okay, are my two fighters ready to go out now? Why are you so unhappy? Oh, that's experience. Okay, no, that's fine then. Okay, so uh, come over here and uh, come over here. Come over here, come over here. There we go. And okay, now you guys can go combat again. Training new professionals, need more professionals, you can hire excellent tenant from the upgraded market or one of your professionals can train a villager as an apprentice. Yes, we already know all of that. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Warning, if the two cats hate each other, the villager may not accept the apprenticeship offer. Once the villager accepts your apprenticeship, they will gain experience while following the master around. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. We already know that. The uh, tutorial that you're giving me is really a little bit late, to be honest. You should have given it much earlier, but okay. Are there any nice cats to hire? Let's see. That's good. That's good. That's bad. That's good. That's bad. That's good. That's bad. That's good. That's bad. That's good. That's not good. That's bad. Okay, so why am I only getting cats with two good traits and one bad trait? Like, I am starting to see a pattern here. And that means that the traits aren't random. They are predetermined to be two good traits, one bad trait. And that doesn't make sense because my cats all have good traits. So if my cats can have good traits, all, all of them, then why can't the cats that join your um, your town also have random traits it should be completely random you shouldn't have um, stuff where the game predetermines um, how many good traits and how many bad traits you're gonna have 
How much health does Leandra have? 20. Holy tits. Yeah, look at that. You see, that's what I was talking about. If you start out with 300 health, then the additional 10 health um, in the skill selection uh, thing isn't going to help a whole lot. But if you start out with 50 health, then it's going to make, make a big impact. And that's not even the worst case scenario because it turns out like if you look at the stats of this cat how do you look at the stats how do you look at the stats where's the stats like okay there it turns out your characters start with one stamina meaning 10 health literally one thing equals 10 health so you start with 10 health which means you have literally zero base health that's ridiculous so it means that if you want a fighter then you're gonna have to in invest a lot into um uh, stamina like seriously no don't attack that one attack attack i'm right clicking okay i'm done okay go to level select okay so like i said i don't want to move through levels, 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 constantly having my progress reset. Isn't there a, um, like just a sandbox? Okay, sandbox. There we go. Uh, that's fine. Average. Okay, I don't really care. I just want friendly. And then, what did we say? Friendly. And optimistic, I think. Friendly, optimistic. Optimistic, friendly. Yeah. That seems good. And then as we now see... Like I said, this one is the combat one. So it's going to need a lot of strength and a lot of stamina. Luck I don't care about. And then three should be fine. A lot of intellect and a lot of stamina. That's fine. Yeah, I don't care about the other stuff. Okay, so at the beginning, you cannot change the classes you start with one art architect and one knight you cannot do anything about that i'm not a fan of that like i said but um what can you do okay blah 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 don't tell me you're gonna take me through the whole tutorial once again because that will just be ridiculous come on I've already done the tutorial. Oh, for fuck's sake. They're going to take me through the entire tutorial again. Can you believe that? Okay, let's upgrade. This is the architect. So uh, let's go for that. This is the knight. Uh, apprentice gains experience twice as fast. That's actually not so good. Let's go for health because the knight is going to require a lot of health. Okay, then we take the knight. I'm clicking. I'm clicking over here. Come on. I've already clicked like three times. And it simply doesn't respond. Yeah, come on. Fight him. Gather loot. That's fine. Gather that. That's fine. Enter the forest, you say. Blah, blah, blah. 
cut. You can also cut. You can cut over there. Okay, so they want me to collect 10 resources. Are there more um, boars around? Let's see. There's none there. Why does this seem like the the beginning again? I literally selected um, a sandbox, so it shouldn't be. You see, this one is just standing here doing fucking nothing. Why am I doing the tutorial again? I selected sandbox. Okay, let's just rush through this. Perhaps you get to the sandbox after this. I don't know. New applicant wants to join. Yeah, that's actually... Okay, no. Well, that, that one isn't actually a... Uh, a benefit. Okay, blah blah blah. Be happy. You a list of your catizens, that's fine. House over your goals, that's fine. Okay, uh, I guess we can send the knight over there. Okay, here we go. Now we can do sandbox. It's stupid that you have to do the um, tutorial again, but uh, what can you do? Okay, so why can't I see the entire map? I would really like to be able to see the entire map, because now I don't know if I'm building on the edge of the map or not. This looks like the edge of the map, but... Like, I want to know where the entire map is. If you think about Sims, in Sims 3 and 4, you can um, see where your boundaries are. Yet, in this game, you cannot. And how do you rotate? I can't rotate my building. Okay, there we go. Normally, the rotation thing is over here, but I guess they think that they're funny by um, changing it. Okay, I guess we can put it here. Like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, another thing, well, I already said it, but I really don't like the fact that the game unpauses itself constantly. Like, the, the game is paused right now, right? But then, when I build, for instance, we can build a two-story place. We just rotate it to be correct. I need to leave two spaces open for a road. That's fine. And then when I exit building mode, it automatically goes into unpaused mode again. And that's not the way it should be. Really, that's not correct. Okay, so you can make him a apprentice and you can make uh, him an apprentice, I guess. I also don't like the fact that you get given random uh, people um, on your um, your game either. Like, this guy, I don't want genius and I don't want glutton, you know? Um, so they give you random people with bad traits. I want to determine who comes into my party, you know? So I'm not a fan of that either. Okay, so let's see how far we can go. Okay, this is the architect. Okay, are you gonna s select an apprentice now? Why do both of you have the same apprentice? 
I want you to be the architect and then I want you click the right click to cancel okay uh, right click to cancel and then you must become that one's architect that's fine uh, why aren't you helping that guy over there or just go cut we'll just do fucking something instead of just standing around picking snot out of your nose just go do something please okay night night and then that one we'll go ask that one to be the apprentice whatever i'm over here i'm right clicking like seriously sometimes you right click and nothing happens literally nothing happens you have to mash the right click button in order for them to listen to you what's this what's that old mine wood blah 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 okay they're picking up gold Okay, can you build another? No, you can't. We need more wood. Okay, so are you the... Yes, you are the uh, apprentice now. Please harvest. And then you must harvest as well. We also need stone. What do you want to go do? Are you sleepy or what? You can't be sleepy. What are you doing? Why are you just standing there? I don't understand what that one is doing. Come on. Just they're aimlessly doing needlessly needless busy work. In sums you can um uh, there's an option in the game settings where you can tell your sims to never do stuff on their own. That's what I want to see in this game. Okay, mean is bad and stubborn is also bad. Cannot be manually controlled by the player. That's insane. That's really insane. I don't want either of those. Okay, let's just look for stuff to kill. We should be able to build another house now. Obviously, I need two houses because I have four people. Then I need infrastructure. You see, that entire piece took one stone where is the logic in that like look at this i'm gonna create one massive piece here from here all the way over there that took one piece where's the logic in that so you can create a piece as big as this just one two blocks two blocks or you can create a piece that's 40 blocks and it still takes one stone. There's zero logic in that. Place to store items. I guess we can do that. Ooh. 
Yeah, if you want to go sleep, that's fine. Go sleep. Uh, you should be building, actually. Hey. Oh, build. Like, I, I can understand him sleeping outside by the fire because he, the second house isn't built yet. So I can totally understand that. Okay, level up. Uh, he's the architect. More wood. Okay, there we have our second house. So now we have enough um, people. Well, we have enough houses for our people. Now we just need more um, resources. Okay, are my two fighters done? Yes. Okay, let's go have a look. I haven't found any boars or anything like that yet, and I, you obviously need boars for food. Because otherwise you're not going to have a good time. There's a little bit of meat. New town applicants have arrived. How do I get over there? Apparently you can't. Okay, let's check out the new applicants. Um, that's good. That's bad. And that's not exactly good. That's okay. That's not exactly good, and that's not good. So, unfortunately, none of those are good. We will just have to wait another day or whatever for our new new applicants, acceptable ap applicants to come in. I also don't like the fact that the fog of war goes back over the places where you've already been. Like, what, that's like stupid, you know, this isn't bloody StarCraft 2, you know, it's not supposed to be a, a RTS game, you know, you're supposed to see where you already were. In fact, in my opinion, you should be able to see the entire map, just like you can in um, Sims, so the, the fact that the fog of war is there is bad but the fact that the fog of war uh, cannot even be removed that's extra bad catizen's requests okay so th this one has a request upgrade the marketplace to have more shop options Okay, I don't even have a marketplace yet. Okay, but we, we can we can take it. Fine. Perhaps we will be able to uh, do it. Go harvest that one. And then uh, you can go harvest that one. The architects also move way slower than what the um, knights do. The knights w move incredibly faster than the architects. Okay, go, cat, uh, go uh, cut over there. Uh, 
boast about yourself until you get the boastful buff stacked to three. Reward vanity. What's the use of that? Uh, okay. I mean, we can try it. Okay, so go boast to that guy. Boast. There isn't even a boast option. Maybe... No, that's not boastful. Okay, so there's not even a boastful option. Can I be boastful with this guy? Nope. No boastful option. So how the hell are you supposed to be boastful if it isn't even an, op an option? How do I see... Oh, there's my food. Okay. I wanted to say, how do I see what my food is? Because, like, I haven't found any food yet, except in the one chest I found a little bit of food, but obviously that's not enough to sustain me. Um, sleepy. Like, I'm, I swear, they, the game is designed to give you cats with two good stuff and one bad thing. And if that is the case, then it's bad. I, I don't like that. Like, why would you ever want that? Why is the game designed to be like that? You have two bad points and one... Uh, two, two good points and one bad point. Because both of your starter cats you can create to have no bad points at all. So, I don't understand this. It's bad. I don't want a lazy cat, you know? And I don't want a sleepy cat either. So that's bad. If the game is really designed to be that way, then that's a big bad point. And okay, what can I build? Okay, so he asked for a market. Oh, we actually need, need a bad uh, bathhouse before we build a market, because a bathhouse is quite important. Okay, let's build that. And then again, I want to take my soldiers out once they awake okay are you guys awake let's go out again go do some exploring I'm clicking, I'm clicking over there. I'm literally clicking over here. Why can't I go over there? I'm clicking, 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 clicking. It's not allowing me to go over there. Can't click over there. Like, are you telling me you are enclosed in this area? Because that would just be hilarious. Can't go there. I can't go there. I'm clicking. I can't go there. Are you telling me this is the only area that you have? This, this isn't a sandbox. It's a bloody crater. How can they call this a sandbox? And I mean, there's, there's trees over there. And I don't have nearly enough trees or um, stone in this area to actually build a nice big city. And I don't have any food. How am I supposed to get food? Like, I don't have boars or... I don't have anything to attack even. So, there's nothing to attack in the area. Which means the two knights that I created are absolutely useless. Like, they, they can't do anything. So what kind of a sandbox is this supposed to be? 
yeah, food is running low. I know food is running low. Because there's no boars in the area. And I already destroyed all of the chests in the area. So I'm not getting any more food from chests. And then once again we get cats with one bad trait. Well, I guess that's the bad trait. Even though I see this as a bad trait. One good trait. And then one bad trait. And then good and good. So yeah, it seems that is how the game is set up. And like I said, I'm not a fan of that. I want the game to be random. I don't want the game to have um, constraints where they will always give you bad people, you know. I see a cat that has two good traits and one bad trait as a bad cat because I have two cats right here that are only good. They have only good traits. So literally any other cat that doesn't have three good traits is a bad cat compared to these cats so I'm, I'm not a fan of that at all so yeah guys honestly uh i i don't understand the uh, the sandbox this isn't the sandbox it's a bloody trap i'm trapped here i can't go outside this quote unquote sandbox there's no meat meaning my people are gonna run out of food in fact they're already uh, running out of food they're literally on zero food right now um, the game doesn't respond when you issue commands sometimes. Sometimes I have to uh, right click three times or four times because, uh, before they actually um, um, respond. Um, the fact that you get given bad cats and not random cats, not truly random cats, um, is definitely an issue. The queuing system is not good, like I said. If your cat is busy cleaning itself or doing some bullshit like that, picking up some wood, and you tell the cat to go revive an ally, they are supposed to go revive the ally. Like in Sims, if your Sim is busy doing some needless bullshit, like whatever, cleaning the floor uh, of water, you know, because the toilet flooded, and then a fire breaks out, they will fucking immediately go attend to the fire. Um, and it's supposed to be the same in this game. So honestly, the queuing system is not good. The AI behavior is not good. Um, the uh, sandbox system is broken. The sandbox mode is completely broken because this is not a sandbox. And uh, the game literally doesn't have any other options. It has the campaign, which I don't like because your uh, progress gets reset constantly i i'm i'm not a fan of of that how can i go back to the to the thing is it over here where is it table select yes so i don't like this system because your const your progress is constantly reset 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 um i'm not a fan of that at all uh the sandbox system does not function and so the game doesn't have a functioning um sandbox system and i mean if it doesn't have a good campaign and it doesn't even have a functioning sandbox system then what's the use you know so um this this already is is in my opinion a game breaker you know this the game does not in my opinion have a functioning game mode because this is not fun i don't like that type of campaign mode and the game does not have a sandbox mode so Honestly, the game is unplayable in this current state, and that's in addition to uh, all of the issues with AI, the queuing system, the fact that um, you get given cats that are by design flawed um, and not random. You don't get given truly random cats, you get given with a 100% certainty uh, flawed cats that have at least one flaw um and that's not that's not my idea of fun you know so honestly guys um i cannot recommend the game in this current state the game is still currently in early access but um to be completely honest with you i cannot recommend the game in this current state perhaps down the line the game will be improved hopefully it will be improved uh, but currently for 18 dollars i cannot recommend this game um, rather wait and see uh, maybe in 
a year or two uh, the game will be in a playable state but in my opinion currently the game is not in a playable state um, it's unfortunate because I do want to see a game come out that is like Sims 3 and 4 but is not infected with uh, a massive amount of DLC. I mean, all of the DLC for Sims 4 costs like $1,500. Um, even though you can get all of that free by simply using Cream API, uh, which is what I do. So you can do that. And I would recommend that you do that. Uh, because giving money to Electronic Arts is like giving money to ISIS. Uh, it's not recommended at all. Uh, even though Sims 4 is a good game in my opinion, uh, giving money to uh, EA, also known as ISIS, is definitely not something that I would recommend anyone do. And unfortunately, uh, I cannot recommend that you buy or play this game in this current state. Um, like I said, it's unfortunate. I wanted to see a new competitor in the quote unquote sim simulation genre, but um, seems that uh, Sims 4 and Sims 3 are still the top dogs in the sim simulation uh, genre. I recently played another game which actually is not bad it uh it's called the tenants i do also do have a review video of that on my channel and the tenants actually is quite like sims it's a little bit different but it's actually not a bad game and i would recommend that you play the tenants but um yeah unfortunately this game i cannot recommend that you play this game um, so yeah guys, I was given a, a code for this game, so thanks a lot to the developers for um, re reaching out and, and giving me a code, but uh, unfortunately it's just one of those things I, I cannot, cannot uh, recommend that anyone spend their money on this game. Uh, as always, it would be super appreciated if you could support me on uh, Nexus.gg any steam games that you buy on nexus.gg the developers get 30 percent more of your money and i also get like five percent so it's not only a good way to support the developers of those games but also a good and free way to support me since it doesn't cost you anything extra so uh yeah guys that's definitely um uh, one way that you can support the channel you can also support the channel on patreon.com obviously uh, I also really hope that they solve this little issue right here with the FPS as well. Because this is just another uh, issue on top of the myriad different issues that the game already currently has. Um, but only time will tell if they can make the game into a playable, enjoyable game. Uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.